Andy Mogul. Hey, my name's Zach Finfrock, and this is Backyard FX, where I show you guys how to do Hollywood special effects on a backyard budget. But not always Hollywood special effects, because today's episode is a portal gun. Okay, so you guys have been requesting the portal gun since Portal 2 came out. And as a huge fan of the series, I mean, I bought the game and beat it the day I had it. I mean, I was there midnight launch when that game came out. I'm, I'm a huge portal fan. So when Eric gave me the go ahead to be able to build the portal gun, yeah, it was a no brainer. I was all for it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it for actually about 50 bucks. Aw, lame. That's right, no puppet Zach. Sorry, dude. What? Well, I, it's 50, it's $50, Aww. so let's get to it. Plumbing epoxy, half inch and three quarters inch machine screws, two three inch PVC couplings, two four inch PVC couplings, a clear plastic tube, four inch ABS tube, 3 inch ABS tube, plunger with clear handle, LED flashlights, foam mat, Tupperware container, black cable, spray paints, Dremel, and hot glue. This build's difficulty level is 9. Simple time now! Woo! The first thing I did was research. There are plenty of portal guns online that people have made, and the most popular is by a guy named Harrison Crix. You can go see his stuff at this link here. Using his pictures as reference, I also found a life-size blueprint which I printed out. That too can be found at this link. Next, I took the PVC pipes and laid them out to get an idea of the scale of the gun. The first thing I did was glue the two 4 inch couplings together, and then added duct tape to reinforce that. Then I cut the 4 inch ABS pipe to about 10 inches in length. Once that was cut and sanded smooth, I eyeballed the blueprints and drew on the pipe where I was going to cut. After the cutting and sanding, it looked something like this. Next, I took the 3 inch ABS pipe and a scrap piece of foam and made a couple rings. Then I placed that into the 4 inch pipe. After gauging where that was going to sit, I cut the 3 inch pipe to about 13 inches. I also drew on that and then cut a hole. Once those were both done and put together, it looked like this. Next, I took the 3 inch couplings and put one on the 3 inch pipe and cut the other one and then placed those on the 3 inch pipe as well. After that, I took the plumbing epoxy and lined the inside of the barrel, where I cut. Once it dried, I sanded it down and used my X-Acto knife to make clean cuts. It looked like this. I then did a coat of glossy black paint over the whole thing. Then I took the top layer of the barrel and added some plumbing epoxy to it. Once it was done, I painted it as well. Next, I took the plunger handle and sanded it to make it bounce light better than if it was just see-through. Then I cut it down a little bit. Then I took the clear plastic tube and cut its size for the barrel and made C-shaped pieces of foam so the plastic tube would sit in the barrel correctly. Then I made some more foam rings for the plunger handle and put that in the plastic tube. Once all that was done, this is what it looked like. Then, I took more foam and made more rings and put the barrel into the 4 inch couplings. Then I made a flashlight holder for the barrel out of foam and glued that in. Next was the white shells that are on the gun. After looking at the blueprints and plenty of reference pictures, I cut out a stencil that looked like this. Once I cut that out of foam, I formed it with my heat gun and then glued it together. The last step for this was painting it white. 
I did three coats of white and a coat of gloss on top of that. I did the same thing with the front shell. Once those dried, I glued them onto the gun. I also glued on some foam parts that are needed for the final steps. Also, I took the end of the plunger handle, cut it short, and stuck that piece in the hole in the top. One of the last things I did was use the Tupperware and cut out the pieces for the claws. I also used the machine screws to put them together, then made the ends out of foam. While those were drying from a coat of black glossy paint, I cut and added the black cables to the gun. Once the claws were dry, I screwed them on and the portal gun was done. And there you have it! A portal gun! Just using a few things like foam, PVC pipe, and plastic, and there you go. Now, to make it different colors, you've got the flashlights, which are in the back. You get the blue one, which is actually just a plain blue LED flashlight that shines a blue. For the orange color, we just put an orange gel on the same flashlight, so then it glows orange. It's a little duller, but it still works. So, that's about it for this really straight to the point episode of Backyard Effects. That's the newest episode of Backyard Effects. And then, that one right there is a surprise, because we can't really link this with anything that we've done in the past. So we've got two videos. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys next week.